So a lot of people, especially when it comes to voice acting, they may have this talent in terms of voice, but they might be kind of concerned that they don't have the right equipment. And that's a valid concern. So right. like, what would you say from an equipment perspective, what do you need to get started like as a, a voice actor or doing like audiobook narration? Okay, the, the first thing I tell people, because I always get hit with this question, do not record on your cell phone. So the no, cell no. phone, <laughs> the cell phone is not going to do. Um, so mainly you're going to need a microphone and people automatically think like, okay, well, you know, this is going to cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like there are ways of doing it on a budget, but yet and still, if you're going to get into it, you need to understand that you are going to need to invest something. Um, it's basically investing in yourself, you know? So, um, the microphone, once you get a microphone, you can use that for a variety of things. If you, if you want to continue with audiobook narration, or if you want to do podcasting, or if you want to do, um, you know, anything like on the internet or, you know, live streams, all of that stuff, you can use microphones for that. So the, the microphone, when you do invest in one, um, even though you can get a whole bundle for like under $50, um, like like once you invest in that, you can use that microphone for a bunch of stuff. Um, but also like I, I do want to point out, so I'm, I'm on Amazon. I have an Amazon page and mm -hmm. on my Amazon page is, is deal finding diva. So even if you search deal finding diva on Amazon, you should be able to find me. But, um, but on that, on my storefront, I actually have an idea list of equipment that people can use for audiobook narration just because I got hit with that question so much. I'm like, well, let me put it, let me put it here so people can easily find it and find it for various budgets. But in addition to a microphone, it's also important that you that you have a pop filter. Now that's something that a lot of people will overlook. And basically it's like a screen that goes in front of your microphone so that when you are saying like the hard letter, like the letter P is not like doing like a sharp thing. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So, um, so basically it, it's like stopping the wind from blowing into that microphone um, because people, when they're listening to these audiobooks, I mean, they have earbuds in their ears and it's right there at their eardrum. So they're going to hear every little thing <laughs> and it's going to be so annoying to them if you're constantly puffing in their ear, you know? So, um, so it's really important that you get a pop filter. Pop filters don't cost much at all. Like you can definitely get them for under $20. Um, and another thing, um, that, that was important for me, um, being that when I first started recording, I was in a place that had no carpet. So the mm -hmm. echo in the room was terrible. And so what I did was I got, um, it's a, it's a little box that helps reduce the echo. So there are a variety of things that you can use. Like, so basically they're made of foam. So some people will put foam padding around the room that they're recording in, or some people will just in, invest in that box that, that I referred to. Um, so that way you could put the microphone in that box and then that echo is contained within there. So, you know, so it helps reduce that. So I do suggest all those things. Those are like the main things, but the very first thing you should start with is getting that microphone and, um, and also make sure you have software to record on as well. So the mm -hmm. software is free. Um, what a lot of people use is audacity. And mm -hmm. one of the reasons I know the main reason why I continue to use audacity is not only because it's free, but because they also have something called an ACX check. And that ACX check is a free plugin that somebody created so that you can meet the sound requirements for ACX. And that's so people know that's the platform where a lot of people do the audiobook narration ACX. Um, so it's owned by Amazon. It's a free platform. You don't have to pay anything in order to start auditioning on there or to get a contract or anything like that. You don't have to pay to use ACX. So the way that it works is um, there are a variety of contracts that you can get. And we, we can get into that in a bit. But um, mm -hmm. but once you do go in there, you get a contract and everything. ACX will take a portion of the book sales or the portion, you know, just a portion of something not out of your pocket. Um, but it's not going to cost you anything to to be on ACX, but just make sure you have that physical equipment and have that recording software as well. Nice. You know, I've heard that a lot of people recommend if you don't have somewhere to record starting in your closet, like what, what's your opinion on that? I always found that one interesting. I, I didn't do that, but I, I just found it just a little interesting. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, the funny thing is, so I recently moved and my room has a nice size closet. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hold on, I can actually record in here. So I'm actually, I've, <laughs> I've thought about recording in my closet, but, um, but cause I noticed like when I walk in there, it's tighter. It's not, you know, the, the room mm -hmm. isn't as big. You're not going to have as much of an echo. So if you have a closet that's comfortable enough to record in, then absolutely go for it. Um, but yeah, like the smaller the room, the the better it's going to be when, with the acoustics. Okay. And as far as equipment goes, just for context, people, this is a Blue, Le uh, Blue Yeti microphone, and it only costs around like 100 bucks. So like she said, it's investing in yourself and not a tax advisor. This isn't financial advice. Consult one, but uh, you, you know, if you're getting into side hustle, you can write it off. Take uh, do with that as you will. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You need to write off everything that you that you invest in for your business. That you know, that's one of the things. That's how the big time companies get away with not paying any taxes <laughs> because they're writing so much off. So. Yep, yeah. definitely. Yep. Contact the tax advisor and get it going. What's up, everyone? What you just watched was a clip from one of the episodes of the Side Hustler Society podcast. So if you're interested in this clip, I encourage you to check out the full episode linked in the description and also on the end screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification if you want to be notified when the show comes out. And thumbs up on the video greatly helps. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video.